Ryan and Nate hey here from E39 Source today. We're back on an M5. What do you know? It's an E39. Today, uh, I thought I already had a video on this. It turns out that we don't. We're going to be changing the fluid in the rear differential. BMW loves to call this a lifetime fluid, which is just a total joke. It's a warranty fluid, uh, good for about four years or 50,000 miles. Yeah, and there's actually, this is a limited slip diff that operates on a clutch paced limited slip differential. So there's friction modifiers in the fluid that will wear out over time. If you don't have those friction modifiers, you don't have an LSD. So if your fluid's worn and, and you know, you've noticed, hey, I can't do burnouts anymore, it's because your LSD fluid's too old. So this is going to be a very easy DIY. Oh, well, it's easy and it's cheap. It's We're talking about maybe $40 in materials yeah, here. Buy nice material, buy, like, like BMW um, fluids. As well as, I do recommend replacing both the drain and the fill plugs. They're not that expensive either. I will put all the part numbers and what fluid we're using down in the description below. Um, so first thing we've done here, get the car in the air, safely suspended, however you wish to do that. There's no covers or trim that need to be removed. We get a clear view of the differential here. On the passenger side, down low, you will find the female 14 millimeter hex bolt that will need to be removed as a drain plug. I recommend loosening slash breaking free your fill plug first. Reason being, if you get that drain plug out, you drain all the fluid out, but now the fill plug is stuck, seized, damaged. Now you've got a diff with no fluid in it. So start off with that drain or that fill plug up top. Um, that was a little bit easier to get to. It's a 14 millimeter just like the drain plug. Down here at the bottom, uh, we'll show you the tool setup we had to use. This is just from an Amazon kit. Um, what are they called? So this is what we used for this fill plug. We went up, this is a stock exhaust car. It might be different if you have an aftermarket exhaust and you can work around these things. But we just did that, put it up on the fill plug, and then lefty-loosey just as normal, and that came right loose. For the bottom, it's a little bit different. So you notice this Harbor Freight tool that we have here, which is a 14 millimeter female again. Um, it does actually not fit between the stock exhaust. So we have, thankfully we have another one on hand. Um, you could cut this down theoretically and make it fit, but we had another one on hand and that we use this guy. This does fit in the differential between the exhaust just barely. You can see it does fit in there. And then you can take either a standard ratcheting wrench or a ratcheting wrench because it makes it faster. Just put it on there and loosen it because we couldn't get a socket to fit there. Yeah, we can't drive it with a ratchet, so or a bar. Um, an open-ended wrench, a box wrench, uh, preferably a ratcheting wrench will be used on the drain. If you've got a 14 millimeter bolt, you could technically put a bolt with a 14 millimeter head in there, or probably a 13, honestly, it's not that tight. And then two head, and then two, two nuts and nuts. tighten them together and then loosen it to do the little double nut trick. That will work. Um, Take you may time. have to improvise a little bit. Yeah. So at this point, we're expecting the fluid capacity to be somewhere between one and two quarts, yeah, probably closer to one. 1.2 or something. So we'll get a, uh, a catch pan, catch basin over here of some sorts. Take the, uh, probably just take that fill out now so it doesn't glug. And um, then we'll take the drain out, let the fluid drain out until it stops. And uh, then we'll figure out how to pump the new stuff in. Just, just heads up, this is really nasty fluid. This is like a seven, oh, probably should talk about what fluid you're supposed to use. You want to use a 75 weight 140, 75W140 fluid with friction modifiers or AKA limited slip additive. There's a whole bunch of different names for it, different brand names. You want to use a limited slip additive. Without that limited slip additive, it won't work. Um, I know General Motors sells a fluid from AC Delco that has a new grape scent. It is very nice because this fluid stinks to high heaven. <laughs> You don't really need that. The shop's going to smell like diff fluid for the next yeah, few days. It will. We'll talk briefly about the parts in the fluid. Let's start with the fluid. This just came from Napa. This is Valvoline 75W140 with the LSD additive. See, it says limited slip right there. Before you comment on Valvoline, it is full synthetic, so it is a high-quality fluid. It'll be fine. Valvoline's been around for over 100 years. I trust them. And then we need a drain and a fill plug. They're the same part number. We'll need a total of two. And on each drain and fill plug is a small washer. We'll need a total of two of those. Part number for the washer is right there, 0711996-3355. And then over here is the plug, that's 3311752-5064. We can see that uh, these parts are not exactly going to break the bank here. So the fluid we're taking out of this differential is certainly not original. This car has 138,000 miles on it, it's a 2000 model year. It is gold, but it isn't brand new either. No. Somebody's done it in the past. Yeah. However, this is a quick note, just as a precaution. I pulled this plug off, and look, the copper wa or the aluminum washer actually stayed on the stuck diff. On the diff. So don't forget to pull those off the diff if they get stuck there. To fill the rear differential, we can't just pour it in like we would a, a radiator or the 
or the engine block. We're gonna use this little thing, I think it was about six bucks or something from Napa here in Escondido. You can get a whole bunch of these, you know, Amazon or any auto parts store will have some sort of a little pump. Um, it's got threads that's supposed to thread on the bottle. It's not gonna work on this bottle and that is fine. So I'll let Nate demonstrate now. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna stick it in there and then it's kinda like a ketchup pump it in and out. You're just gonna pump the thing, it's gonna pump the fluid out and into wherever you insert that hose. Gonna put the hose in the hole and, and pumping. start pumping. So the fill level is reached when it starts to overflow from the fill uh, bolt. So just keep pumping, go through the first bottle. I, I expect it to take about one full bottle, maybe a hair from the second one. Yeah. Um, we'll keep pumping until it starts to overflow. The bottom drain bolt <clears throat> and actually the fill bolt as well are to be torqued to 45 Newton meters or 33 foot pounds. It'll be difficult to do that on the drain bolt seeing that we can't fit a actual torque wrench in there. Um, Guten tight. It is not under pressure. You just gotta crush the crush washer, that's it. So we found out that this thing does actually thread on the cap which makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then we ended up using a total of uh, one quart and a half. 1.5 ish quarts. Yeah, 1.4 quarts is about how much we used. It's tricky to film in here, but I, I did move the light a little bit closer. We can see that beautiful unicorn egg rear nugget in there. But uh, new plugs, new fluid, everything's tight, torque to spec. We're going to lower the car and we're all set. That is the differential fluid change on the E39 M5. Thanks for watching.